My next guest here this morning, mayoral candidate Fernando Herrera. Uh, Mr. Herrera, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Great to have you with us this morning. Uh, good morning to everyone, and Matt, thanks for having me. It's it's my pleasure. You know, a lot of people are saying that nobody's running against uh, Mayor Parker, and you would like to say in a very loud and clear voice, uh, that's not true. You are, and it's great to have you with us here. Uh, red light camera debate. Let's talk about that right out of the box. Do you think this could sidetrack her campaign and, and maybe make it easier for you to make inroads here? Absolutely. It has affected her campaign. Her campaign has already spent $830,000 since February. So, yeah, I think they're concerned about it, doing polls, surveys, and, and preparing for the upcoming campaign, uh, yeah, the election. You are a uh, you are a Houston firefighter, correct? That's right. Yeah, I'm a Houston firefighter. I've been in 30 years. And uh, so if, if the firefighters, uh, police officers, I, I know there has been some pushback uh, from uh, both of those organizations uh, here in the city of Houston uh, against the mayor. Uh, do you see them kind of lining up with you, uh, your campaign, uh, or, you know, is it kind of 50-50 here? Well, word on the street, when I speak to firefighters personally, off-duty, of course, and police officers, I'm... Uh, put it this way, I hardly meet any that are not supporting me. Almost all of them are supporting me. So that's the good news. Um, yeah, the, these red light cameras are, are quite an issue, but there's others. There's the drainage tax debacle, the um, forced historical preservation, right. obstacles, yeah, obstacles to business, and there's, there's council members are expected to make decisions on short notice. There's so many things. Uh, Fernando Herrera joining us here, mayoral candidate. All right, if you would hang on, Fernando, uh, when we come back, I want to ask you about dirty politics here in the mayor's office in the city of Houston. More Houston Morning News with Matt Patrick now. I have every intention of ultimately turning those cameras off. I don't know what the perception problem is. I've said it over and over again. I believe in the red light cameras. I don't want to do this. But I have every intention of doing it, and I am doing my best to get this done. KTRH News Time is 552, and we're joined here by mayoral candidate Fernando uh, Herrera. And, Fernando, thank you so much for uh, for joining us here again this morning. All right, there's Mayor Parker. She says uh, she's for the cameras, but uh, she's going to turn them off. She has to. Has to do the will of the people. Doesn't sound to me much like she really wants to, Fernando, but she's she has to. Um, you know, it's interesting because uh, I, when we reach out to the mayor's office on some of these big issues, at least in the recent past, she's either on vacation or unavailable. Um, it, it seems to me that there's an awful lot of, yeah, how shall I say, uh, back room dealing here at the mayor's office. Do you also find that to be true? Well, the the key thing is to listen to the will of the people. What's really important for voters to remember is that 186,000 people voted against those red light cameras to turn them off. Only 81,000 voted for Anise Parker when she got elected. So that helps put things in perspective. And furthermore, remember, after the federal judge said uh, the election was not valid, the city still had 30 days to um, end the contract. There was an escape clause. And we failed to um, failed to use that that process. I, I think they took that escape clause out when they were negotiating back and forth uh, with the red light camera company. Uh, at least that was my understanding of it. But you make a, a valid point. It was the will of the people, and it just sounds to me like the mayor doesn't agree with the will of the people, and she's very reluctantly doing what needs to be done. Uh, if you get into office, uh, w w you would what what would be the first thing you would do? First thirty days in office, Fernando. What do you what are you going to tackle first? First thing, I must balance the budget. I'll only have five months to balance my first budget. The biggest changes will occur after the first budget is balanced. However, at the top of my list is to end the drainage tax, shut off the red light cameras, and stop the forced historical preservation, especially on those on a fixed income. For those Houstonians that aren't familiar with forced historical preservation, consider yourself lucky. It's, it's very interesting. Fernando Herrera joining us this morning, a uh, mayoral candidate uh, running against uh, Mayor Parker. All right, very quickly, in the time that I have left here, Fernando, is there a website? If anyone wants to know more, where should they go? Yes, thank you, Matt. It's votefernandoherrera.com. Votefernandoherrera.com. You can read more about me, ask questions, and contribute, of course. All right, thank you, Fernando Herrera, mayoral candidate. We look forward to talking with you again uh, as, the, uh, as the whole process moves forward.